Hey, hey Pisces, this week we have got our new moon in Gemini, it's on Thursday the 10th and it is an eclipse. So this is our second eclipse of eclipse season. Eclipse season has been for two years, this year and last year, in the signs of Gemini and Sagittarius, opposite signs. Um, and what these bring is a kind of transformation in the things that we believe in, um, the things we believe to be truth, how we communicate with each other and how we are learning and growing. So for you in particular, Pisces, this is going to be a time where you are learning about your emotions, in particular, perhaps some hidden emotions. You might ha be having some release recently. You might be having some kind of feelings throughout Venus in Cancer um, and, you know, we are going to have Mercury in Cancer soon. Like there's going to be this kind of release of how you feel, old emotions that maybe have been trapped. Now, don't be afraid of that because actually this is very healthy. It's almost like the river needs to flow in order for you to heal. So be very kind to yourself at this time. If you feel like during this eclipse you feel a bit overwhelmed, then just allow yourself to be very gentle, to have rest, to be kind, to be slow. This is going to help you to embody whatever healing is going to come so that you can be bigger and better and stronger. So I'm going to pick a tarot message for you for this eclipse. We have got here the Queen of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. So yes, you do need some rest. Definitely, there is a lot of you out there that need to at least put some of your responsibilities down for a minute. Um, it might actually be that you have got a lot on your plate, um, but maybe you're not even doing it, it you're not going through these uh, challenges or these responsibilities in a way that's very efficient. You might actually just be kind of piling on the work or piling on the to-do list without really achieving or feeling like you've achieved something. So try and cut it back a little bit and do work smarter, not harder. Go about it in a way that is very strategic where you say to yourself, what big thing do I need to do today? Or what big goal do I need to set? What, what do I need to achieve by the end of this week? And then try to cut out any of the little things that are not so important so you don't feel so overwhelmed like you're carrying so much weight. So let me know in the comments if that resonated. Otherwise, you can book a reading from the links below and I'll see you next week.